Good afternoon. Never thought I would start a video with lessons from a fish, but anyway, we have a small little fish tank at the moment um, with some tiny little fish that we got yesterday that the kids wanted. They are actually absolutely tiny, like this big, like absolutely tiny. Well, anyway, good afternoon, Helen. Good afternoon, Diane. I am on a road at the moment, so it will be loud until I get round the corner. Anyway, so we've bought these tiny little fish and so we bought them back in a bag and I, I just noticed that yesterday I actually learned a lesson and I applied the lesson. So if you listened to a video I did the other day, you might have known that I s wasted two hours trying to sync my new microphone and I couldn't work it out what to do because I didn't have time to read the instructions because I was too busy. Yet, when Mrs. Fruity looked through the instructions, she sorted it out. However, however, yesterday, I loved the instructions on how to put the fish in the fish tank. If I'm perfectly honest, I nearly just went straight to it and thought, surely you just tip the fish straight in the fish tank and it's fine. But then you read the instructions, it's like step one. Slowly put the bag on top of the fish tank so it can start to get used to the surroundings. Step two, it needs to get rid of the get used to the new environment so just slowly after 20 minutes creep the bag down add a little bit of water from the environment of your fish tank to the water it's in just so it can start to get used to it a bit step three add a little bit more in step four fish them out and slowly put them in and it reminded me about essentially the instructions for habit change in that you don't have to do it all at once you don't have to tip the fish, fish straight in but you can take make really really small changes and these changes can be so small that you don't even think they'll do anything so if my perfect <laughs> the example was I put the, the bag on top and I was like surely a fish doesn't know that surely it's just confusing the fish now the fish was walk was like literally swimming not walking swimming to the end of the bag like thinking why can't I get out these are such small changes so it could be drinking two liters of water only eating when you're sat down that is a big thing who does that do you do that I don't always do it, but when I do, I'm more aware. Writing down what you eat before you eat it. That's a good one. The reason I bring that up is, as I always talk about, toddlers, every time they walk into the kitchen, every time I walk into the kitchen, there's bound to be a half-eaten fruit around. Bound to be. Half-eaten apple, half-eaten plum. I could quite easily go, it's only a plum, it's only half an apple. All of a sudden, I'm eating an extra four fruits a day. And, and I chatted with one of the ladies today, actually, and she said, when she used to do Weight Watchers, she used to just eat fruit as a free-for-all and she would always give up cheese in a sandwich because she thought it was fattening. Yet she's now realised that the banana sandwich she was having is the same calories as her cheese sandwich, yet she's now increased her protein. She feels more satisfied because she doesn't feel as deprived. And it's really interesting how such a small habit, or belief rather than a habit, of cheese is bad could lead to a decision that wasn't actually benefiting her in the, in, the, in the slightest. In fact, it was then making her crave cheese more and actually feeling like that deprivation is there. So I guess that's where you need to know the facts. But anyway, that's why writing down before you eat can be such a powerful thing. And it's, it's great as well if you don't really feel like you want to plan or have time to plan. So I hope that helps. That is my lesson from a fish today. So what's your one step today? Have a think about what's your one thing today? What's your next step? Rather than just chucking the fish straight in the fish tank and they're getting into this new environment and they're like looking around like, what the hell? Water's changed, da da da. Even if you're just balancing the bag on top, imagine you're a fish about to go in a new fish tank, scary times. Just think about the smallest steps you can make. Hope that helps. Let me know what it is and I'll keep you accountable to it. Speak soon.